Hey, what's going on guys? This is Con to win again. I wanted to go to make another video of my traffic light simulation program. Now if you watch my other video, um, I kind of half-assed it and used my iPhone to record my computer screen. Um, this basically translates into like a really low quality video with the, the audio all, all being all jacked up or whatnot. And so, um, but now I have some time and finally found a uh, screen recorder that, that I can actually utilize and record every aspect of this program. So, but so far so good. Um, no issues yet. The program that I'm using is called Action. So, and I'm definitely want, I'm kind of curious to see how it goes and and if I'm going to be using this program in, in the near future. So, but uh, basically, what my version of this uh, traffic light simulation program consists of is both exercises one and two. One being all the light transition correctly to avoid any accident from occurring. Um, the X also wanted me to add in a delay green transition with both directions having their red lights uh, on. The reason behind that is even even though you correctly um, transition the lights from red to green, um, cars will so crash because the transition was so fast. You would need you definitely would need. Um, a delay between the green and red transitions and so that's the reason why we have both red lights on at the same time for both directions so um, the second exercise involves the crosswalk buttons um, so when the crosswalk buttons are pushed the light uh, sign will turn on the crosswalk light will turn on and um, now if the the light is on green and when I push that button it's not going to turn on on that particular moment it's going to turn on the next red to green transition and so um, and basically the light will remain on until the green signal turns on or turn off and then once it turns to yellow it's going to start blinking just from on and off the crosswalk light and then once uh, the red signal appears it's going to turn off so and let me go ahead and uh, show you guys that so let me go and wait until green light turns on and so I'm gonna go and push the west side cross walk, walk button and if you notice that the light does not turn on immediately again it's gonna turn on to the next red to green transition and so there we go and I'm going to go ahead and do the same for the east side crosswalk. Okay, so let me push that. All right. There we go. So um, these two exercises are included in this pro in this pro particular program, um, but I also added in more logic to this program from uh, from the previous video um, from the previous video till now, and so I noticed that I didn't utilize the uh, the vehicle sensors as I should. So um, so in this program, I created logic so that one direction will stay on if only one vehicle sensor is is activated. And it will stay on until either another car comes on the opposite side of the road or opposite side of the intersection or if a pedestrian pushes the crosswalk button. So let me go ahead and show you that as well. Here we go. So right now I only have one car or one side of traffic going. And it's, again, it's going to stay on. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and push the east side crosswalk button to go ahead. I'm sorry, the, the west side crosswalk button so I can go ahead and cross. Here we go. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the same thing. Well, I'm going to go ahead and release or cause traffic to uh, come on 
on the other side of the intersection. So, here we go. Perfect. Now I realize that, uh, that the crosswalk light cycle has its two functions even with that particular side being on. Um, safety is, is my number one priority, uh, especially with this particular program here. So I placed a, uh, a, a delay when the crosswalk button is pushed. And the, and the, the crosswalk button will still, save, will still have the, the, the time frame as if it was on normal mode. So, and let me go and show you that as well. There's only one um, traffic on one side. So let me go and push that crosswalk button. And if, if you notice, not, it's not going to turn on. First, we figure the time, and then now it's on. And it's going to turn off. Perfect. So, okay, this is pretty much my. Uh, my travel life simulation program. Oh yeah, I, I totally almost forgot. Um, this project has actually has two programs. One being a, the traffic life simulation program, and the other is a light chaser program. Um, now to get to that light chaser program, I implemented a uh, a password, and so that consists of a combination of involving the crosser buttons. Um, so the password is two right and then seven left of the crosswalk buttons. So let me go ahead and push those crosswalk buttons now. First I'm going to stop traffic. Okay. Now the light chaser program actually has uh, a speed control feature where it can go faster or slower. So right now it's at speed zero. And as you can see it's, it's pretty slow. And it's not going to go down anymore. Now uh, let me go ahead and speed it up. So this is speed one, speed two, and then speed three. Now as far as the end, the 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 actual light chaser program, I wanted to to do a lot more with the animation. Um, you know, with the snake feature, and I, I was I had a whole light show plan but um but again with the uh, the ad the limitation of the animation of this particular program is not it wouldn't allow me to do so um, but um yeah but it, going back to the password um if you don't push the right combination of crosswalk buttons the password will reset within eight to ten seconds so i implemented that so that it won't so the program won't in so each program wouldn't turn on prematurely either the, the traffic light simulation program or the light chaser program so but yeah um, so if you have any questions definitely let me know um, I want to go ahead and uh, see if I I want to go ahead and help you guys out as much as I can I know this particular program is part of some instructors curriculum and so I don't want to give out too much information as far as my programming goes, but I can definitely help you out um, and see what I can do as far as uh, or see take a look at your program and see what's wrong with it. And so, um, but let me go ahead and go back to the travel flight simulation program. All right, there you have it.